Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back into my YouTube channel. It's me, Christian, and for today's video, another tip for all of those who wanted to be a call center agent. And for today's video, based nga sa title ng video na to, as you can see, we will be doing, um, uh, ang tawag dito? This would be the assessment for teleperformance, um, assessment test during their application process. So before that, I just want to say uh, so sorry kasi ngayon ako nakabalik. It's been one week na hindi ako nakapag-upload but eventually at magpasalamat lang tayo that um, andito pa rin tayo nakaupo at nakabalik magawa ng video. So um, you will know in the future and also in this video part ng video na to sasabihin ko kung bakit nawala ako for um, for a short time period. So Ayun nga, so without further ado, kasi medyo mahaba ang video na to, so this would be um, the tip that I will be giving to you guys and also explain to you as well kung ano nga ba yung assessment test at dito maraming bumabagsak and I will be also giving you the reasons kung bakit na babagsak and also the tips and techniques kung paano nga ba to siya ipasa. So last week, um, I just want to clarify everyone, um, wala na ako sa previous BPO company ko, so right now, I was actually um, looking for another job and eventually nakahanap mga ako ng bago um, trabaho in a different company so I will be talking about that in another video but for today so yun pag-uusapan natin to so part of me looking for a job so pumunta ko sa teleperformance and then with all the credentials that I have I actually applied there so pumunta ako at nag-take ako ng kanilang application process and eventually actually naka-job offer ako sa teleperformance and ayun nga so and I will be again talking about more of that detail ko ano yung journey ko this week. So yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start for this one. So yeah, like what I've said last week, last Monday, January 23, I went to teleperformance in Davao City branch and I did apply there. So they actually offered me a job. So it's a technical support for a telco account, Comcast. And Luckily, sobrang happy ko because um, out of all the applicants, I think there is um, 100 plus applicants that day kasi ramping yung teleperformance right now. I was actually, uh, I got the highest score for the assessment of all the applicants on that day. So I was very happy and again, thank you so much teleperformance for acknowledging that kasi in-acknowledge nila yun at meron silang announcement at the same day uh, while waiting for the results of all the applicants. So again, thank you, thank you so much. So ayun, so ano nga ba yung assessment test ng teleperformance? Actually, their um, assessment test is not, um, hindi gaano uh, iba doon sa mga assessment test ng ibang BPO companies. Uh, so, yung mga categories nila, first is the SVAR or yung um, speaking proficiency test. So, SVAR, so speaking test, first category. The second one is the typing. The third one is personality test. And the fourth one is the analytical um, part of the test. So, ayun, so apat. So, let's go ahead and dissect this kasi medyo mahaba-haba nga ito. So, let's start first with the first category which is the SVER or the speaking test, uh, proficiency test, something like that. So, yung SVER ay merong apat na categories. So, this is very important kasi dito talaga parang ito yung pinakamabigat out of all the four categories kasi... This is speaking. So in BPO company, in BPO industry, it's very important for us to speak and communicate very fluently in English. So they will be testing us about um, speaking and the communication and conversation skills natin. So this is the part where medyo mahirap. So let's go ahead and start with the first category. This, the first category is the easiest one, I believe. Um, this one is meron lang tayong pakikinggan na audio. And then, sasabihin mo lang yun. So there will be a cue. Um, let's say, um, example, thank you for calling, um, let's say, thank you for calling teleperformance. Ganon. So, marinig mo yung audio. Now, the trick here is, you must um, see the audio how um, how it's supposed to be. So, kung ano yung tono ng audio na yun, yun din yung i-repeat mo. So, ano yung mga tricky parts dito? Ang tricky parts dito is, if the statement or yung sentence ay papaulit sa'yo ay question. So, for example, how are you doing today? Ganon yung audio. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihing, how are you doing today? Dapat, pa-question then How are you doing today? Ganon. So, dito talaga maraming nababagsak. 
yung rising and falling intonation, huwag kang maging monotone. Kung paano siya sinabi doon sa audio, doon mo i-copy. So, for example, pataas, uh, exclamation siya. Um, how, much is he, uh, how much is your internet service? Parang ganon. Question, pataas yung tono din. So, ganyan. Kailangan mo talagang balansehin. I'm doing great. Ganon. So, parang, ang gagawin mo talaga is talagang ikakapi mo siya with the proper ton, uh, intonation, proper um, pronunciation, and the pauses. Because sometimes, merong mga ganon. May mga pause. So, may makikita kang kama, mag-pause ka. Hello, my name is Christian. Ganon. So, parang, talagang i-repeat mo lang siya. And then, hindi naman kasi talaga perfect talaga tayong magsalita or hindi natin makakopya talaga yon But, make sure na kung ano yung ano yung construction ng sentence, yun din yung sasabihin mo. And don't worry, kasi yun ay nakikita lang din sa screen. So again, it's the easiest one kasi makikita mo yung whole sentence din doon sa, um, anong tawag natin dito? Doon sa screen. Okay? Because may computer naman. So, ayun. Pagkatapos nun, um, always click submit kasi after mong magsabi doon, makikita mo naman nagagalaw yung parang may wave-wave doon. So, indication yun siya na nare-record yung sinasabi mo. So, click submit, then ayun, tapusin mo. So, there are around like 20 um, statements, 15 to 20. So, nakalimutan ko na. So, anyways, yun yung first category. So, para sa akin yun ay um, listen or uh, read and repeat. Parang ganun siya na activity. So, that is the first category. The second one is repeat the audio. So, dito medyo tricky siya. Same din siya doon sa first category but hindi mo na makikita yung mismong sentence or phrase. Hindi siya word, okay? It's a sentence. I just want all of you to set proper expectations. Hindi po siya word. Phrases and sentences po siya. So, group of words po ito. So, for example, narinig mo yung word na um, I want to subscribe to your service. Parang ganun. So, ang trick dito Kasi once lang siya may play Wala siyang option doon na ulitin ulit. So, kailangan mo talagang makinig ng mabuti. And, you just want to set proper expectation. Hindi lang ikaw yung nasa room. It's actually set yon Sabay-sabay kayo. Like 10 to 15 kami doon sa loob ng room. So, maririnig mo din yung nagsasalita. And, different kasi siya. Every computer has a different set of um, sentences per applicant. So, iba yung maririnig mo, iba din yung sa, ka, sa katabi mo. So, kung sa atin pa walang cheating, hindi hindi mo yun dapat sasabihin kung ano yung sinabi nun sa katabi. Focus on your own. So, trick ko dito para, para hindi ka madistract. Haw, hawakan mo yung headset. Uh, for example, I have a headset here. So, ganito. Ito kunwari yung headset. So, pag ganyan, make sure din na ito nakalapit dun sa, sa bibig mo kasi may isang applicant sa amin na nakaganito yan, nakataas so hindi na record in, ang nangyari is na record yung boses na katabi niya at yung nasa likod niya so make sure na malapit to sa bibig mo ito and then para makafocus ka talaga is hawakan mo yan dito okay? yan, so isang trick din yan para sa all throughout ito ng assessment. Okay? So, yun. So, i-repeat mo lang yung audio. Same. Kung may mga pauses, questions, exclamation point, make sure na ganoon din yung pagkasabi mo. Okay? The third one is the free speech. Now, dito sa free speech, ang gagawin mo lang ay, ang gagawin mo ay, magsasalita ka for 45 minutes about any specific topic na ibibigay doon. mag appear naman yung topic. Yung binigay sa akin na topic is, describe a crowded market yun yung sa akin. So, you will be given 30 seconds to prepare. So, sa 30 seconds, huwag ka munang magsalita. You can use the note pa doon sa computer para mag-take down notes. So, ilalagay mo dun kung ano yung outline ng sasabihin mo like um, ano yung place, yung crowded market. So, i-describe mo yun. Ano yung mga nakikita doon sa crowded market. Marami bang tao sa crowded market. Explain or i-describe mo yung emotion. Kung maingay ba doon, kung tahimik ba doon, kung may formal ba na mga linya na nakikita ka, yung mga tao ba busy, ganun-ganun. So, explain that. So, again, 30 seconds to prepare. Huwag ka munang magsalita sa 30 seconds. Maraming mga nagsasalita dito. Tapos, pag, yun pala preparation pa. Again, may 30 seconds preparation and then 45 seconds i-describe mo. 
Wag mong bilisan, wag mong pagalan. Just your normal voice. Don't use any accents. American, British, tanggalin mo yun. Neutral accent lang dapat talaga. So, speak with the neutral accent or yung ginagamit natin as a Filipino. Wag naman yung provincial, yung neutral lang. Yung tamang-tamang lang English, okay? And then, um... Ang tawag natin dito, for example, malapit na matapos yung countdown ng 45 seconds. Kung may 5 seconds na lang tapos hindi ka patapos sa sentence mo, wag mong ikat. Hayaan mo lang yung time mag-stop, tapos mag-continue ka lang magsalita, tapos mag-stop, edi stop na. Wag mong ibahin yung pacing ng pagsasalita mo. Kahit, kasi hindi naman tinetest kung magagamit mo yung 45 seconds, tinetest nila yung paano ka magsalita. So, it doesn't matter if maabutan ka ng time, just make sure na walang dead air for 45 seconds sa kapag salita ka ng derecho-derecho with proper pacing, proper toning, intonation, pronunciation, ganun-ganun. So, ititest nila yun. So, yun yung pangatlo. Yung pangapat is there is a conversation. So, may maririnig kang audio. And again, this will be played only once. So, merong, uh, merong ka maririnig na conversation. It's actually a conversation between a customer and a customer service agent or a call center agent. So, ayun. So, may questions, I think 5 to 10 questions about doon sa conversation. Kung ano yung complaint. Um, kung yung mga details like kung ilang months siya nakasubscribe you depende kasi yun eh kung ano yung conversation basta yung answer is andoon lang sa within doon sa um, conversation it's multiple choice as well okay so make sure na magtitik down notes ka may notepad naman sa computer you can use that one okay so yun yung sa SVAR or sa speaking test ng teleperformance that is the first part now let's go with the second one and it is the typing test now dito sa typing test um 90% accuracy and uh yeah 90% accuracy dapat out of 100 and then out of 100 then uh yun 90% accuracy doon sa whole um, paragraph may dalawang paragraph na ibibigay sa iyo and also hindi masyado hindi mataas yung standard nila when it comes to typing because they only want 25 words per minute masyadong mababa na yun guys makukuha niyo yun so ano yung gagawin niyo dapat dapat mabilis kayong mag-type at the same time tama lahat so, hindi kayo pwedeng maggamit ng mouse. So, backspace. Kung meron kayong mali, backspace, diretso, backspace. Then, correct nyo siya, tapos move on. Diretso, diretso, diretso. And then, para ma-achieve nyo yung 25 min uh, words per minute, kasi may timer doon, pagkatapos yung isulat lahat, click submit agad. Kasi pag hindi nyo kiniklik yung submit, magra-run pa rin yung time. Hindi kayo magpo-proceed doon sa next paragraph. Dalawang paragraph yon So, again, mabilis na pag-type. And then also, tama lahat ng words. 90% accuracy dapat ng whole sentence ay makuha mo. And then, 25 words per minute lang yung hinahangalap. Okay? Don't always forget to click submit. So, that is the typing test. Let's go with the third one, which is, I think, the easiest of all four categories. And this is personality test. There is no wrong or right here. But, this um, personality test will test you. So, may mga situations doon na, are you... Um, uh, are you usually um, ikaw ba yung usually in-ask ng advices from your friends matulungin ka ba so para meron siyang 1 to 5 so from parang strongly disagree disagree, neutral agree at strongly agree so just think of yourself as ikaw yung interviewer i-hire mo ba yung tao na Pwede, na, pwede kasi siyang um, for the sake lang talaga na makuha natin yung job what I can say to you is for example um, are you someone na, in -adva na hinihinga ng advice strongly agree agad mga ganun so iba ba, ba, i-balance nyo kahit hindi nyo personality yon just put strongly agree kung positive naman yon okay and this ito yung sasabihin ko 72 questions ito may timer ito so 72 personality t personality test questions yung lalabas at palang tatapusin nyo siya in just 10 minutes okay so make sure to finish the personality test and always go with strongly agree kung talagang alam nyo na makakatulong yun sa application nyo okay and let's have the next one and the last one that is the analytical so 19 questions ito so ano nga ba yung analytical so from the word analytical usually talaga mathematics ito so there would be um graphs there would be pictures na ipapakita sa inyo. So, usually, yung natatandaan ko is yung um, length, 
width, may mga ganun. So, ganun-ganun. So, parang i-add-add mo yon Percentage, may mga ganun. Hindi siya mahirap. 